Hi. If the camera's tilted, that's because it is. And this is my first like real, real video. I'm kind of nervous if you can't tell. Today I was like, what's something we all have indifferent feelings about? Wattpad. Today we are in fact going to be taking a gander at one of the greatest, greatest. <laughs> websites on the internet, hands down. If you disagree with that, um... So, I thought we would just have a fun little reading some Wattpad fanfics moment. It actually ends up being only one fanfiction, but I'm planning on making this a series, so. Before we get started, <laughs> to the six of my subscribers, this is for you. You're probably watching this right now. So thank you, I'm thanking all six of my subscribers individually. You are awesome. Thank you. If you're new, I recommend, I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Subscribe, please. It would mean the world to me. And I'm very funny and entertaining. As you can probably tell already, I'm doing a great job being a YouTuber. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open Wattpad.com. I did already find one that I'm very interested in reading with you all today. Here's my personal history with Wattpad.com. I will occasionally scroll on here, look around, see what's popping, see what the, the kids are writing. And I will sometimes come across one that I'm like, whoa, I, ha I have to click on this. I, I, th th this website is giving me no choice but to click on this story. And I'm sure people that go on Wattpad can relate. So the one that I have seen regularly in the trending on like the fan fiction section of Wattpad is this dream fanfic. You probably know who this man is. H he's the Minecraft guy. He's the green silly Minecraft dude. Personally, I dabble in MCYT. I'm definitely more of like an OG MCYT fan. I'm a Sky gal and Team Crafted and even later on Sky does Minecraft I do enjoy. And you know, I dabble in modern MCYT. I'm acting as if I don't own a Tommy and the U2s and a Jayshla plushie. <laughs> I know of the guy. I think I've watched like one of his videos. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm not like a huge fan of him. I'm aware of like the happenings with most of these people. I just thought this is interesting. I've kind of noticed that the whole, this person accidentally texted a wrong number and it ended up being Wilbur Sutt is like kind of a subgenre of MCYT fanfics. Like there's so many. I'm just kind of interested to see what this is going to be like. I have already read like part of the first chapter in preparation for this video. I'm interested to see where this goes. Okay, also this is a family friendly PG clean channel currently. I will either be not using the swear words or I will use words like crap and fudge. Try words like fudge. And darn. Uh. Fudge! <laughs> so that's just a little heads up. <laughs> Let's just start reading. Okay, chapter one. If you don't wake up in the next 10 minutes, I'll kill you. It's three in the afternoon. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh wait, crap, you're not Nick. Can confirm, I'm not Nick. I know a Nick though. Everyone knows a Nick. Nicks aren't special. I hope Santa smothers you in your sleep. What? I'm sorry, but like personally, if someone with the wrong number texted me, I'd be like, hey man, you you got the you got the wrong number, bro. 
or something along those lines. I'm pretty sure nobody talks like this, like in general, but specifically to someone who had the wrong number and accidentally texted you. Like this is just not a normal way humans interact in this situation and any situation. I'm assuming this is going to be a YN moment and yet again, YN is just making me lose my mind. So let's continue. Santa question mark, question mark, question mark. What, are you seven? That's a good point. They probably are. <laughs> Oh no. Saint Nick, stupid idiot. Oh. Who even are you? LOL. Someone. <laughs> Nobody talks like this. <laughs> Someone who lives in Florida. How'd you know that? We have the same area code, stupid. Oh, so that's what I got wrong. Wait, OMG. Nick and I have the same number? Watch me text every single area code to find him. <laughs> every single area code. I don't think it's f like, can you do that? Like, is that physically humanly possible? Please don't do that. I beg. I don't think she will because she probably can't because I don't think that's how that works. So why does Nick have to wake up? Is he your boyfriend or brother or like what? Yeah, Nick and I are madly in love. Have been since we were 12. Aw, that's sweet. How old are y'all now? I'm 21, LMAO. Wait, same. I can tell you right now. <laughs> the person who wrote this and everyone else that is reading it, including myself, is just definitely not 21. I know this is like a fictional scenario. It's still just kind of hilarious to me because that's just not the demographic at all. So, congrats on nine years with Nick. That's impressive. Yes, thank you. He's tried to kill me several times. What did you say? It's fine. I always get him back. Oh my god, I'm texting a psychopath. That's your fault, really. You keep replying. I was intrigued about this, Nick. But it turns out Nick should be in prison instead of bed. Nah, he's just Texan. They're all like that. Wait, that narrows it down to 25 area codes. I'm totally gonna text Nick. Bruh. Ask about his mental health and yours too, and whatever your pronouns are. Don't do it. And he, him, by the way. I'm gonna do it, my good sir. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 See, you agree with me. Darn it, it didn't work. I'm not an idiot. Well, you see, I was counting on that, your idiocracy, and it backfired. Is Nick from Houston? Houston is the only one that responded with yes. What did you ask? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And how the heck did he answer so quickly? I'm still on delivered. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit more. I bet you're a horse girl. You went from emo sixth grader to horse girl. I just know it. She's calling him Bartholomew? Oh, are they just calling each other names? Gertrude, I'm concerned for your mental health. <sighs> okay, we found something good. I know you're a gamer, but you're like Eret level gamer attractiveness. You know who Eret is? Drew is in love with them. I don't know who Drew is. I'm assuming it's YN's friend. I'll be referring to this person as YN. I've seen the strawberry dress clips. I wholeheartedly agree. Wait, so do you watch the Dream SMP? What's that? <laughs> Why is this a trope in like every single fanfic about like a real life person? It's like, One Direction, who are they? I don't know who they are, Simon Cowell. Never heard of them. I've never heard th this One Direction song in my life. It's so annoying because, yes, you do. The person who wrote this definitely knows who the Dream SMP is. Everyone reading it knows what the Dream SMP is. Why are we just like lying? What's up with that? It has a stupid name, Dream SMP. And it's in like lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase moment. SMP stands for survival multiplayer and Dream is a Minecraft YouTuber. So there's your explanation. I like the name. Shut up. It's a Minecraft SMP and you just put Dream, which is your name. Stop getting de defensive. <laughs> like he's so serious about it too. He's like, I like the name. Shut up. It's a good name. It's an SMP and it's run by Dream. Wow. No, you're you're right. It, it's an incredibly cleverly named Minecraft SMP. And it's something to get angry about if somebody's like, that's stupid. 
wait, I asked my roommate about it. They said they watch it a lot. I'm not allowed to call it stupid anymore. I'm not stupid. And your roommate sounds really cool. Who's their favorite? Drew says, and I quote, Tebo Supremacy. That's another stupid name. They want to know who yours is. I hate being the middleman. I hate this character so much. I actually hate this character. I'm Goggy's biggest simp. Ew. I just, I just, they'll know what that means. I'm disgusted with you. Drew has informed me that this Goggy is British. This is strike two, Florida man. This person hates the British. Oh my god. Stealing bits here and there, dude. The bit I just did is also a stolen bit. Just because you're bullying Sapnap, I'm gonna tell you that Era and Tubbo are British. Look it up, I'm not lying. You even called Era attractive. How do you feel about that, Gertrude, huh? It's been 10 minutes. I hope you've broken down in tears. Tell me your line. Oh my god, he's tweeting about this. <laughs> what? In the past 10 minutes, number girl has called Era attractive, heard her roommate say Tevo supremacy, made fun of Sapnap's name, and had a breakdown when I told her Era and Tevo were British because she hates the British. I dash. I would love to do some re research into if Dream has ever used the I dash. And he's tweeting this from his all, so it's like, Guys, <laughs> people on my alt, all like 1 million of you. I don't know how many followers he has on his alt. I'm texting this girl I know nothing about and I'm sharing it with all 1 million of you because that's how that works. Like this is something, if you're like an influencer, right? I hate that word, but like if you are one, you're not about to be like tweeting about this stuff, right? Like you might tell your friends. You might text them or message them. Like, you're not about to be, like, tweeting this from your alt that already has, like, tons of followers on it. I feel like people just don't do stuff like this. 15,000 likes. Like, I feel like this just doesn't happen. <laughs> I feel like no one does this. Update. I have called Bartholomew a total of 15 times. Sapnap, you have her number two. Please save me. I'm going to cry. She's making fun of Minecraft. Might I remind the audience that she has no idea who I am or even what the SMP is? Okay, this is from Sapnap. This is a Sapnap's tweet. Dream, why is she asking if I have murderous tendencies? George, when they exclude you. She sounds great. I love her already. This American woman sounds horrible. I hate her. God save the queen. Tubbo supremacy. How many chapters are there? Like, do I have to read all of these? I'm not going to. <laughs> I really don't want to. I'm doing a great job being a YouTuber. Nick told me you're talking about me on Twitter. The one social media I refuse, frowny face. I know that that is, again, <laughs> not true. Everyone that reads this and the person that made this has a Twitter. <laughs> I don't know why we keep lying in these fanfics. Or maybe this person doesn't. I am assuming a lot and that's probably very mean, but like, let's be honest in these fanfictions. <laughs> we all have Twitter, okay? And for a lot of these people, it's their way to like connect with our fellow fans. Please tell me there aren't screenshots. The Dua Lipa stands could track me from anywhere. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Don't worry, there are no screenshots. I strictly refer to you as number girl. They won't get you, I promise. I'm not about to read what's on there, so. I will now be releasing your phone number on Twitter and hoping someone doxes you. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the end. At the very end, there's a sequel announcement. I'm excited to read that. Let's read the last chapter though. Name, I'm not gonna even begin to pronounce. Chewed on her bottom lip as she fiddled with the gold sash around her neck. She was surrounded by strangers in the sea of black caps and gowns. Her stomach fluttered with nerves. She'd worked hard for four years and paid over $24,000 for the piece of paper she was soon going to walk over the stage for. Blank had poured blood, sweat, and tears into getting her degree. She couldn't wait to finally graduate, but she was also scared of the future. This made her feel like she should be an official adult. Her phone buzzed in her pocket, distracting her from her thoughts. Dream's about to meet her parents. She graduates. I can't even read this. <laughs> There's so much. 
I love you. Oh my god, they're on a first name basis. Dreams clay now. This is awesome. I love you too. Name. Okay, so this wasn't YN. I was wrong. My bad. There's a sequel. I wonder if this person has made it yet. Let me check. Oh, there is a sequel. Okay, I won't be reading it. I might if you subscribe and hit that like button and leave a comment. This was fun. Yo, my laptop is like dying right now. Okay, so I've decided I will just be doing a part two. I'll maybe make this into a series of me reading fun fanfics I come across. So yeah, also my laptop is going to explode. So I thought I'd just cut it a little bit short today. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the buttons. Leave a fun comment telling me how uh, funny I am. You can also follow me on various social medias. I will be linking those in the description. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. My laptop is now working again. This is awesome. It's whatever. Okay, bye.